Cleveland police are investigating their first homicide of 2015. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. Police have arrested Sean Angelo Davenport, charging him with second-degree murder. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now live with the details. Hannah. Kim Calvin, Davenport has been booked into the Bradley County Jail. Police tell me this is the second time they've been to his house. Yesterday it was for domestic violence. Today the call turned into a homicide investigation. Neighbors say the woman living next door told them her boyfriend threatened her with a gun Monday. When I walked out, she asked if we had heard any of it, and I said I heard screaming, but I didn't know the cops were here. According to 911 dispatch, police responded to the house for a domestic violence call just hours before finding a man dead in this house. The, the caller advised someone else had shot him. Bob Irvin says a couple moved in next door around three months ago. But they wasn't getting along. Now neighbors are telling us it's the friend who was living with them who's dead tonight. He came over here and was talking to us and stuff because when they were fighting and fussing, he just come outside and sit on the steps or walk down the road. Police say they found Michael Swafford suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to his chest when they arrived this morning. Well, I guess that was the three shots that killed him. Again, Sean Angelo Davenport has been charged with second degree murder in this case. Police say a firearm was found in Davenport's car. It is believed to be the one used in the homicide. Reporting live in Cleveland, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you very much. And police say they responded to a call about a crash close to the home on Good Street. And after investigating, officers discovered Sean Davenport lived at the home where the shooting happened and was possibly involved. After being treated at the hospital for minor injuries, Davenport was arrested.